Hi, welcome to another video. This is Mini OS having a look on the HP Stream 11. This is Bookworm XFCE Standard AMD 64 bit and we'll boot in this. Um, start a new session and see how it goes. Mini OS is a light Linux operating system. This live kit or live boot ISO is around or under 700 megabytes, 690 megabytes. So it should run well on this system. This laptop is quite a low power laptop. It only uses 7.5 watts at the moment. It's got a dual core Celeron processor. It's got four gig, no it's not. It's got two gigabytes of RAM and um, it's only got a small eMMC drive in the system. So it's kind of an interesting laptop to use to try light operating systems to see how they perform with a limited processor and limited RAM. So here we are, it's starting up. There's three different versions of mini OS. You can have a look at the website and they've got different amounts of tools and software in each one. Um, so yeah, this is the real time. I've not paused it or edited it or done anything to change, you know, make it look like it's booting quicker. This is just happening right now. So we're seeing how quickly this boots up from a USB drive. There's a USB drive over here. It's connected to USB three connection. And I've got a mouse plugged in because I'm not a massive fan of the trackpad. Feel free to click like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And check out the playlist. There's a whole Linux playlist, there's laptop playlists, etc, etc. Um, I'm sure you'll find something interesting. The desktop looks quite nice. Um, we've got the usual sort of corner start button. We've got a web browser, we've got a file manager and we've got a terminal. This is thinner. This is the terminal. And this is top and it says it's using 859 megabytes of memory. Let's see if we've got H top. Yep, we've got H top. So 590 megabytes used. Have we got NeoFetch? No. So let's go back to H top. And it seems to run quite nicely. It snaps to the corners quite well. And on this, because this is a lighter version, we've got fewer things. So there isn't much here. There's a task manager. Let's put this over there. Graphics, internet, Firefox, ESR, settings. Power manager, let's have a look at that. So the battery in this is completely dead. Um, what else have we got? Workspaces system, so we can configure it, we can install it and yeah, there's not really that much here. We could add more if we wanted to. But let's just connect to my Wi-Fi and see how it performs doing some basic web browsing and maybe some YouTube. Um, I'm not going to install this because this is designed to be a live um, boot image and it would make this video much longer and mean I'd miss out on showing a different operating system. So let me just connect to the Wi-Fi. We're connected to the internet. Let's start the web browser and see how it performs. Let's see if we can actually see the memory usage a little bit more clearly here. Having to expand that out quite far before we can actually read um, the information. Let's 
really difficult to line up the mouse perfectly with the edge. Can I move this? No. Okay, so it's got a swap setup. It's got memory usage there. And perhaps if I put this down here, we'll be able to see this while I'm using the browser. It's quite keen to snap into the corners. Um, and that's the Minios website. Let's just go to BBC. Okay, so we're on the BBC Sport website and let's just open some different tabs, see how many we get and how quick they are to respond. Doing all right, to be honest. They're coming up quite quickly and it's relatively smooth. Getting a little bit slow here. We've maxed out the CPU, but it does catch up. And the memory and swap usage is going up as well. I'm kind of being a little bit careful not to um, max out the memory and the swap file, just to try and avoid it crashing really. But we should be able to get another tab open, perhaps the weather. Yeah, that's all looking good. So let's try WebGL Aquarium and see if that works. The Celeron N3060 processor in this has reasonable uh, graphics performance. Um, so it can cope or should be able to cope with this website. Okay, so memory usage is at 1.5 gigabytes. CPU usage is quite high. Let's maximize this. And we're getting 40 frames per second, sometimes up to 50 frames per second. So that's running really nicely. Let's try YouTube. YouTube is the one that's often the most difficult for low powered machines. This laptop seems to be doing reasonably well with this system, but again, let's try YouTube. Oh, this video has just dropped. Let's have a look at this one. So we're getting the adverts, the adverts are playing okay. Quite smooth, but not, I think the sound is muted perhaps. Yeah. So we're getting sound. Um, it's using AV01 codec. Um, let's go to full screen. Quite a lot of dropped frames. But it seems to be playing back okay at the moment. So mini OS seems a low power as in a low resource intensive or rather I'm trying to, the word I'm looking for is light. It seems like a light Linux operating system that boots reasonably quickly um, and has enough to get you on the internet and do a few other things. But I guess if you want more, there are different versions of mini OS available. Um, yeah, 
it's working, it's playing back videos. Once it's sort of settled down, it's kind of not dropping as many frames and we've got it at 480. So we could always switch off ambient mode and go for a lower resolution if we wanted. Let's just try 720p, see how it copes with that. So it's switched over to the VP09 codec, which can be a little bit more difficult to cope with. Yeah, it's quite choppy. Quite a nice blue. But it is doing 720p relatively well. Let's go back to 480. And now it's gone back down to AV01 codec, which is interesting. Um, yeah. A bit slow switching between the sort of full screen and this view, but mini OS seems quite nice. Um, you know, it's got quite a nice appearance, it's got some useful tools, and it manages to fit in 690 megabytes which means you could, in theory, put it onto a CD and boot from um, a system with a CD. So here we go. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll end the video here because we've had a quick look at the operating system. We've seen what it can do and it works quite nicely. I'll make this a, one of the shorter videos. But if you've liked this video, feel free to leave a comment subscribe and thank you to all those people who share videos with other people really appreciate it and you can become a channel member if you want and a big shout out to the people who have become channel members i really appreciate it and it helps me do more things like this thanks for watching bye